Hello so guys, today I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and add it on Share Factory on the PS5. So it's quite easy guys and let's start off with this. So first off, if you want to get it, you have to download it first off. Just go to the search bar and search up Share Factory. And make sure that you're on all or games so you can actually find it. So once you find it guys, you can just go ahead and open it up after the download basically and now what you want to do is you just want to create a new project over here and once you create one you can just go ahead and choose a creator pack if you want but you don't have to do that so let's just go with no creator pack and on here we can basically select the clips that you want so like you see over here we also have this check marked but you don't want to do that guys but basically you're gonna have like an intro that shows just share factory and that's quite annoying so just demark the share factory so now what we can do is we can go to most recent on here or most recent files will be here so what we can do is just select them so i'm gonna select this one and this one and then press on square let's rename the project so you should also do what it actually says on here not on the share factory but on YouTube and also comment down below guys what do you think of share factory on the PS5 so personally I don't really use share factory the number one reason is I have the Elgato game capture card and it's a bit easier to use it and also guys you cannot record everything on your PS5 for example recording your home screen doesn't work if that worked out it will be pretty nice it will be a lot easier so let's just go ahead in here go to here and what we can basically do is we can press on x and once we do that we have add clip add screenshots tracks music transitions layout filter and overlays <coughs> so once you go over to things like track or overlay you will actually see our camera so if you do have a camera a ps5 camera you will see yourself if you go over here so i'm i'm not gonna do that so let's go over to here let's go for to add screenshots so what you can basically do is you can just go ahead and add these screenshots you can also go to the basic ones like the default screenshots like you see over here solid color or something like that and what you want to do is select this one for for example or select two of them and then you want to press on square so once you press on square you will actually add your screenshots so what you also can do is you can go ahead and add some music <coughs> so like you see guys there's like a lot of music that you can just choose from this place but what you also can do is you can get your own music like you see over here import from usb so if you have a usb drive guys it's quite important that you can just go ahead and download some music out of your pc or laptop and then just go ahead and bring it up to your ps5 and then just go ahead and download your music off that ps5 so let's just go ahead and show you some couple other stuff let's go back over here we have a transition so for example if you want some cool explosions can you actually see that explosion so if you want to go ahead and play your clip or if you want to move it like like this like me that I'm doing right now it's quite easier this way actually you just want to go ahead and press on the d-pad and once you press on the d-pad you can actually play like you see and that was just a transition that I just added wait that was pretty weird <laughs> okay let's just stop here and now I'm gonna show some other couple stuff so let's just say that you just want to go ahead and uh, zoom in like this so if you want to zoom in into a clip so you can see like seconds like milliseconds or something like that you can just press up on your d-pad and then you can ge get like the maximum thing like you see and what you also can do is if you want to add like a really 
small thing on here like a meme or something like that what you want to do is you just want to press on square and once you press on square like you see we have a lot more options over here what we can do is we can just split our clip split on here or maybe it's just too small that's what will also happen guys sometimes it's the clip is just way too small and it doesn't split so let's try it again Okay, that's kind of weird. Let's just go ahead and make this smaller. Why can I not split this clip? Okay, that's kind of weird though. So I'm gonna go a bit back to here. Like I did it and it just worked out like just a moment ago, but right now it just glitches, I think. So let's try something else like let's go for to filter we can do a lot of things actually let's go over here once you press on square you can actually go ahead and see a lot more options so on here we can also zoom out like you see like for example you can like zoom like this that's also an option but if you do, if you only want that to be a clip, I just showed you guys, you just want to go and press on square and you just want to go to split clip. But for right now, for some type of reason, it actually doesn't work. And I don't get the reason why. But yeah, that sometimes happens on here. That's why I'm not really using Share Factory. And it's also a free software. That's quite normal to have that. Let's do confirm. And we just deleted our clip, but never mind. I just want to go ahead and show you some more things. So what you also can do is you can just go ahead and go to Time Bender or Playback. So what you can do is basically you can also get it on Reverse or Rebound. Like you see, it's Reverse. I'm just switching on my D-pad, but never mind. So what you also can do guys is, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's not like a lot of special things which you can do, but I honestly don't really like to use a share factory because it's kind of harder than my PC and also even on my phone. So if you have like a phone, I think maybe it's going to be better on there. But if you cannot like transport it, if you don't have something like USB or just a bit too lazy like me, Sometimes you can just use this, a share factory. But if you want to go ahead and do stuff like trimming or just removing a bit of your video, it's quite easy, guys. I would not use a share factory for that. I will just go ahead and press on the share button and go over to here. And I will go over to the video clip over here. So I will just click on here and just press on start or options and go to edit and just go ahead and just trim our video so if you're not like a dude that does like super special edits like the explosion that you saw earlier you don't really need to do something special so what you can basically do is you can just why can i not what, what? okay that's i swear i'm gonna break my monitor <laughs> okay now it's loaded up <coughs> so what you can do is you can just go ahead and start here and you can just, just like end here and then just go ahead and save it up and sometimes it loads pretty slow Okay, now it worked. So save as new or replace your original one. So I'm just gonna save as new. And here you go, this is how you can trim it. And also guys, if you're a dude that just wants like normal edit and stuff like that, just trimming and stuff like that, you can just go ahead and do that really simply like I showed you. You don't really need a share factory if you, unless you wanna add some explosions or add some music. <coughs> also guys, if you wanna add some music, Make sure it's not copyright though. <coughs> Just because you're gonna get a lot of headaches if you're gonna upload that to YouTube or something else. Like, 
I know some experience. I once had like a like a music playing on the background, and it was so like I had to f just get my volume up to a hundred, and I have really loud speakers also. And I heard like a little song. It was like three seconds, and that got me fully demonetized just for that little sound. It was like three seconds. I didn't even hear that sound. It was so quiet, and that's why make sure you don't have like copyright music because it will give you some headaches sometimes. And yeah, that's the video, guys. If you want to add me, here's my name, just Kiri. And also, guys, you can also just go ahead and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Link in the in the description and also guys please like and follow and yeah that will actually support me so i can make more videos to help more people out so peace guys